So let's start by creating a, just a blank document. That way we won't run into any kind of any kind of errors with our with our standards. And let's just think about this for a second um, as we go in and, and create a series of rooms um, based on an Excel document that we have a lot of control over. It could be our standard Excel document that, that we get the programming information for. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Dynamo and open up this um, really incredible script. Uh, big shout out to Kyle Martin of SB Architects um, over in Boston that was able to put this together and I was able to kind of modify it and maybe add some extra some future uses to this and customize it to our own DLR standards um, in, in some way shapes and forms and, and kind of customize it to ourselves here. Um, first thing you're going to notice is um, it looks complicated, but it's really not. It's just been divided up into different sorting and different categories as it starts to to ask for uh, different families, different levels, and, and different Excel files. So essentially, what it's what it's going to go grab is um, our programming document. Um, simply uh, remembers that path, so I don't have to go to the server and and reference it. It's just going to find it. Um, it has different sheets in that Excel file, and I'll show that in a minute. We can do it by uh, organize these uh, blocks by by adjacency, department, um, square footage, if, if that's how you uh, play your game. Um, it's going to kind of sort and filter and, and build some rooms and then uh, we're going to use this really highly functional uh, space planning box and then I'm going to assign a level. In this instance it's uh, I only have one level but you can imagine like a healthcare project that has multiple levels that needs uh, multiple adjacencies uh, so on and so forth. Um, and then all this little script does is kind of divides divides it out and finds those uh, columns in the Excel file, height, length, width, program area, space name, and we can we can change the names to department name, room name, uh, those types of things. And then it assigns a color to it and then builds a 3D room. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So basically starting with a completely blank document, um, just once again I'll do a zoom to fit. This isn't any kind of trickery, I'm not going to pause the video, we're just going to hit run. Um, immediately finds the Excel document for me so I'm not spending 5, 10, 15 minutes looking for it on the server. Um, and then once it once it does that I've, I've kind of assigned it to look at uh, departments but again uh, it could be by adjacencies, um, could be by square footage, um, wh whatever your fancy is. It's going to do a quick pass fail check like I showed in my in my last video with it, and it's going to compare these two numbers and there it's done. Uh, I have no idea, I kind of rambled on there so um, it went ahead and built the rooms for me, uh, at least as 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 called out in the in the document. It did it faster, and I could kind of explain what's going on here. Um, so just generically, I have a lot of 10 by 10 by 10 rooms. Um, I'll show another way to change this in a minute. It's, then it's going to compare this number to this number, and then spit out whether it's too big or too small. Obviously, it's a fail because it's too small, it's not meeting what the owner is requiring, which is 350 square feet, or what we're requiring as the expert architects. Um, if that's not disco enough for you, let's go into level one. Oh, but Ryan, oh, there's these things aren't tagged. I have no idea what these are, but um, Dynamo has gone ahead and, and literally built these, giving these, these parameters that I gave it 10 by 10 by 10, um, what the owner is trying to get out of it, and what we're putting into it. Um, it's also given me my, um, in this case, this actually means department name, and then this is actually room name, so not a big deal. Um, but how do I know which one's which? So in just a few seconds, let's go ahead and tag everything. So now I know um, exactly what all these little tags are. Um, I think at this point you've kind of figured this out. Um, and we can start to clump these together. If you n want me to... And, and you're and you're really looking for something like this, where these adjacencies need to be closer together and need to be like that. If you need this script to do something like that and clump these together, um, we can go ahead and do that. I've just really generically set these. Uh, I'm going to call them skittles up to uh, be in be in their own rows, assorted by um, the department and then by color. So in, in this instance, this one might look a little odd because it should be red. Um, I've gone ahead and changed that to magenta, not this pink color, but actually magenta, um, because this is actually the kitchen. Everything else, all these other red places, spaces are um, ancillary spaces, so it's the kitchen tray return, it's the kitchen wear washing, uh, so this is kind of the head of the head of the snake, I guess, and then this is the tail. 
um, if, if you can go by that analogy. So I've, I've gone ahead and, and uh, specifically assigned the kitchen to be that color just to make it stand out a little bit more so I can grab it a little bit quicker. Um, not a huge, not a big deal. Uh, let's back up just a little bit. Let's do some, let's do some quick stuff here. Um, this is just a generic model, so it doesn't have really the, the walls that I need, um, but we definitely can very, very quickly uh, assign rooms, walls to these, to these different areas. Uh, it's going to give me a couple warnings, that's fine. Uh, because right now it's just uh, labeling these as generic spaces. Um, I will have to go back in. Uh, what's it doing here? I will have to go back in and, and reassign those spaces. Uh, but it will be very quick to do. Here's my room. Um, run the code again. Burn over this room. Um, we can also use this for occupancy, classification, uh, things like that. Let me back up a couple here. Alright, excellent. So, zoom back out. Um, and if you notice, there's a couple extra spares here. I can, I can explain what's going on there in, in maybe another video, but for the most part, um, it's 100% accurate according to as accurate as you've basically uh, made this. We're supposed to be the experts, so we should know what a small group classroom should be. It's probably not going to be 10 by 10 by 10. Um, this is just to show generically uh, what we can do for this space. It is also a live document, so let's move to the side here really quick. Let's grab this, who's this right here, 999 square feet, 484. You are yellow, you are circulation, so it's going to be incredibly easy to find this. Oh, boom, right there. So, I want to change this to 10 by 10 by 10. I'm going to hit save. So we're going to watch this guy right here. I'm going to bring up my Dynamo script. Well, let's say the, there was a whole bunch of changes that needed to be made. I'm just going to show one for now. Give me one second here. I'm going to pull to the side so you know there's no tricks going on. Basically, all I'm doing is hitting reload. I expect this box to go 10 by 10 by 10 which it's already 10 height for the ceiling, but I can assign a ceiling to that, walls to that, um, then uh, put a room in, rerun the script to assign room names, and uh, if you wanted two numbers, I, I highly recommend you still still manually assign numbers, um, because uh, it's just easier, and, and there it's done. Um, so on and so forth. You can imagine multiple rooms changing uh, due to somebody else uh, being in this document doesn't necessarily mean that that I'm in this document, but uh, somebody else might be in it and and hit save, um, and then I hit rerun the script. Um, hopefully, with with less fails and, and more passes that that meet the owner requirements. Uh, I think that's all for the script. I feel like I'm kind of running over and already explained everything. So um, hopefully, uh, in less than ten minutes, we've we've kind of influenced our workflow. Uh, tenfold, a hundredfold, uh, whatever it takes to uh, kind of give designers more time to design and uh, design more accurately. So thank you. Bye.